Hi, I'm Sandy Endicott. I'm a senior, senior agronomy manager with Pioneer Hybrid. And today we're going to do a, a little in-field discussion on rootless corn. And we're going to compare that to what a good healthy root system should look like. Okay, we're going to dig up some healthy corn to take a look at what an ideal root system should look like. We're looking at V2 corn at this point here. And ideally, you would like to use a shovel to dig up the corn plant so you get the entire root system. So we're starting with the two different root systems. Okay. Okay, we have a V2 plant here because we have one, two fully developed leaves with visible collars. And at this stage, we still have two root systems on our corn plant. We have the seed or seminal root system that develops out of the seed that was placed into the soil. And then we have our crown root or our nodal root system starting to develop. We're at V2 and we actually have two sets of crown roots developing here. The first one is this root here and these larger ones are from the second node. This seedling or seminal root system functions for about three weeks of the plant's life taking up water and nutrients to support the leaf tissue while this crown root system starts to develop already at V1 and it starts to take over immediately once those root systems start to develop. We can also measure seeding depth at this point. Generally the crown roots will develop approximately three quarters of an inch below the soil surface and so as we look here we measure the length of the mesocotyl, this piece, and we look at to where the soil line was. This particular seed was placed at about an inch and a half almost an inch and three-quarters into the soil. As we assess the health of the plants and try to make a decision about our crop, one thing we can do with corn is we can split the stalk in two and look at the growing point. This inverted triangle here, this yellow meristematic tissue, as long as it's yellowish, off-white in color, it's healthy. If you see a little discoloration down here below, that's usually not any of, of any concern. But as long as the upper part of this area is yellowish, off-white in color, the growing plant is still healthy and the plant has a good chance to survive. So as we scout our fields, one of the things that might catch our eye is a lot of plants leaning because of the wind, or in some cases we may even have some plants that have fallen over and are starting to dry up. This might be an indication that we are not having good root development and so we want to take out our shovels and we want to start digging around and looking at these plants. Another symptomology to look for in the field as you're walking will be for cracks in the seed trench. When we start to see excessive cracking that indicates that we probably planted into slightly less than ideal conditions. The seed coulters compress the soil in the sidewalls forcing the, the trenches to come back open as they begin to dry out. This also allows moisture to escape very quickly, which may have a negative impact on root development. As we carefully dig around the plants, we'll sometimes notice that we do not have the root systems that we would like to be seeing. In this particular case, this corn plant is being held into the soil just by the mesocotyl. The crown roots or nodal root systems have not started to develop very well. Even though we do see some root tissue buds there developing at about an inch and three quarters on the measuring stick there, this is a good sign. That tells me that this plant is still healthy, still has a chance to, to survive if we get some much needed moisture to allow those roots to develop. The fact that only the mesocotyl is holding that plant into the ground and the fact that in this particular case it is discolored is not a good positive sign. That tells me we've had maybe some pathogens move in there. We might have some weakening of the vascular system. So the limited root system we have there on that seedling root has to work very hard to maintain that plant. So we need to get some moisture around this corn plant as soon as possible. Okay, we've talked about the symptomology and what to look for with, with respect to rootless corn. We've also talked about what a good healthy root system looks like and a good healthy meristematic region looks like in the corn. So as you evaluate your fields, keep in mind all of those components we just talked about as you evaluate your stand.